Yep. Empty net, cards on the bench, extra tacker on. But the Canucks win the draw. Myers has a little trouble with it and played it up and out of play. They're saying it deflected. Flyers thought it was a penalty, but right away the officials say it deflected and so no penalty. Yeah, Owen Tip the closest guy to that puck did not argue it. And everybody else on the ice had their stick up in the air. There's Tippett trying to get there and it looks like his stick did make contact. Sell job by the rest of the Flyers. It should did not work. So again, they drop the puck to the right for Seelov. He's hoping he's 327 away from his first National Hockey League win. And they draw one again by the Canucks. Myers lobs it all the way down. And this one's settling. It's not going to be icing. And the Canucks are after with the empty net there. Lamont trying to get it to Giuseppe. It's blocked off. Lamont gets it back again. And then the shot blocked by Frost. Flyers can't get the puck. Finally, they have it locked to connect me. And across to Hayes. Kevin Hayes drops it to D'Angelo. And now Frost took below three minutes to play in the third. That puck didn't get cleanly in. It bounces around in the slot. Now connect me across. Here's Tippett, the shot. Blocked in it. Then found glass. Connect me. To tip it. Connect it was checked after he delivered that pass. He's back up behind the net, gets the puck here. They play it off the back of the net. Now tip it to it at the angle, and he gets it back out. Frost to D'Angelo. This way to Hayes, and now connecting his shot blocks. There's too many Canucks there. Hayes back out D'Angelo. Now the puck back. Now the shot there. Save made. The arm is up. Now he might have a penalty on the Canucks. I think we will. He allows with that save. But a high sticking minor indicated the Flyers will get a power play. Yeah, Travis Konecki put his hand to his mouth after that puck was in the slot. Right number 34, minor penalty, high sticking. To Giuseppe right there. Oh, right in the mouth. Ouch. Got the puck and catches TK right in the mouth. The Flyers will have the power play timeout called here. Rocky Thompson drawing up a play here. It'll be six skaters against four. It's not something that commonly happens, so you want to make sure they know exactly where they're going. Mike Yo trying to put the defensive scheme together for Vancouver. Rick Tockett watching closely. Luke Shen should be out there, right? The way he's played. Sergey Gonchar. There were eight coaches on the ice for the Canucks at practice. Yeah. This the skill coaches weren't too bad either. Yeah, were the Sedin twins, not bad. There's four of the assistants. The Sedin twins were out there as well, and a, a goaltender coach. So it was uh, quite the group. A couple former teammates of yours. Yeah, Adam Foote and Sergey Gonchar and Rick Tockett. Actually, three. Yeah, yeah. Look at that. These guys uh, learned well from me. <laughs> okay. It must believe, be, believe what you want to believe. It must be sponges, those three. Yeah, I bet. So they do what not to take from him. All right, here we go. Six on four. Flyers trying to get back within one. Worst penalty killing team. They're three percentage points behind the worst penalty killing team all time. Or they could have, this is a real problem area for them. However, Ross gets tossed, so Hayes will have to step in on the draw against Miller. Puck to the corner, and fired all the way down toward the infinite but wide by Bear. Flyers go back and get the puck. D'Angelo. Finds Frost. Frost, to connect me, checked. Kept it alive for the slot, tip it after it. But right there is Patterson to backhand it down and into the empty net. A four-point night. Pedersen, and it's a 5-2 Canucks lead. Well, 70 points on the season now for Pedersen. Set his career high earlier and has extended it. A backhand right down into the empty net, shorthanded. You get all the cracks out that you want down by two. Every team does, whether it's even strength or shorthanded anymore. 26 goal of the season. 
Fires trying to get possession of that puck. Patterson protects it with his body and gets some open space, enough room to fire it down the ice on the back. Yeah. 